Yep, um, Lieutenant Colonel, Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Matt Tromans, and the 525th Fighter Squadron Commander, and until we all returned from Japan, I was most recently also the 525th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron Commander. Well, on J Bear today, we got to joyfully welcome back uh, almost 290 airmen from Kadena Air Base after a five month deployment uh, to Japan. Kadena Air Base in Japan has had F-15Cs for almost 40 years, and the F-15Cs are retiring. During that retirement period and before the next iteration of fighters is stood up at Kadena Air Base, the Air Force is filling that role to their allies and the Pacific partners in the region with fifth generation air superiority and fifth generation fighters. So we're filling that with F-22s most recently from Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. Our replacement was the F-35s from the Isles Air Force Base. Uh, and we'll be backfilling that position at Kadena for the foreseeable future with rotational forces. It is an amazing feeling to be back after a long deployment and be reunited with their family and friends. We know that the deployments are part of the mission and we know that it's something we have to do, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's hard to be away from your family for five months, even when you know the mission is important. So being able to get back and be reunited with those families is a really heartwarming thing. I think I'm just most proud of the team that was built uh, with the 525th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron over the last five months. We are able to take members and airmen, men and women from seven different squadrons across Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, both on the 3rd Wing side and the 673rd Air Base Wing side, and put them all under one squadron in the Expeditionary Fighter Squadron construct. Those folks were able to take a challenging set of situations, a challenging set of circumstances in the first rotational fighter squadron through Kadena in this backfill and F-15 divestiture and create such a group of motivated and capable airmen that we were very successful in our time in the So I'm most proud to have been able to be a part of that team that was created. The vast majority of our airmen are back. We have a handful of folks that are still at Kadena Air Base, and they'll be there until the last of our equipment comes home, which should be in the next few weeks.